Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back again this evening, and in my second episode of Quick Tips Tuesdays. So uh, today we're going to be talking about how to add in multiple cameras and get multiple angles uh, in your render at one time, uh, so that you don't have to render out different angles um, each time, because that may be a little bit time-consuming for some of you. Um, now, each method, uh, you know. <clears throat> it depends on what you're doing, whether or not you want to do this, but I figure this is something uh, that can be done fairly quick that a lot of you may not know. So uh, the first thing to do um, is just drop in a camera. Obviously for this tutorial we're going to be using multiple cameras. So I'm just going to drop in about four, and I'm just going to use a cube object here so we can kind of see the angle switching. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is go into each camera by clicking on this uh, little icon here and making the white dot come up. That lets us know we're in the view of this particular camera right here. So for this camera, I'm going to have the angle right here. Then I'll jump over to this camera, make sure it's highlighted like so, and I'll change the angle in the position. Get it where I want it. So about right there. And then I'll jump over into this camera. And uh, we'll do something like that. All right, and then we'll jump over in this last camera and uh, do something a little bit different here. So basically, the whole point to do the uh, we're, why we're doing this is just to get all your angles set up initially, because uh, we actually do the camera switching afterwards. So. And we'll put this one right here. All right, so if we go to each camera, you can see the different angles that we have. So the next step here is to drop in a stage effector, and that is under the floor icon. So drop in the stage, and uh, what we're going to do is you're going to see this option under here, um, under object, the object tab with uh, stage selected. You're going to have the camera uh, slot. Okay, so for this first, I want this to be the first angle, so I'm going to go back to stage and I'm going to drop this camera in this little viewport here, in this little uh, area down here. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we're going to control, left click, and we'll have this go for about 54 seconds, for example. Okay. Then we'll change after that. We'll stop it on the keyframe we want the angle to change or the camera to change, and we'll take this camera. Whoops, let's go back to this. And let's drag this camera in here, like so. Camera dot one, and then keyframe that. And then we'll have this go a little ways. Say frame 88. We'll do camera two, drop it in there, keyframe that. And then we'll just go to camera three, drop this in here, keyframe that. So if we go ahead and give this a quick playthrough, as you can see as we play along the timeline, our angles are automatically switching. So we could do this with an animation, and our angles would change throughout the whole animation. And basically that means uh, we won't have to go in and render out different angles uh, at a time, which may take a lot longer. Um, but depending on what you want to do, this may not be the best idea if you're wanting to do transitions and stuff. But uh, for some things, this may work awesome for you guys. So hopefully it does. Hope this was something you didn't know already. Um, another quick tip. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If it helped you out, please leave a like. And uh, I will see you guys later. Peace out.